Good morning, good morning, people of grace. You are welcome, beloved sons and daughters of the Most High. Yes, you are blessed. You are highly favored. You have been restored. You are fortified and sanctified by his blood. This is the day that our Papa has made, Papa God and Papa Jesus, the one that are greater, greater than whatever darkness or demons or whatever. They are the greatest because they were created by the Spirit and the hands, the long arm of our Father God, who love us dearly, who even share the breath with us after creating a human, Adam, as his first, the first human being on earth. So we are highly favored because we are also created in his image. You are welcome. Let's welcome Father God, Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We said you are worthy. We love you. Here we are, carrying our weaknesses and sins, but we know that, Father, we are marked by your mark. We bear your mark. No darkness, no demon shall come and harm us because that mark, it releases, it has released the power. The power, the anointing, the grace that is so sufficient. That will overcome me, darkness and evil from the kingdom of darkness and all contrary spirit. Father, strengthen us. When we are weak, strengthen us. Work in our hearts in the name of Jesus during this meeting. We love you. We invite you to take control. Amen. We love you, our God. We love you, our Jesus. The coming Messiah, our Papa. We love you, Holy Spirit, because you first love us. Amen. You are welcome, child of God. Pardon me again. We are on Lord Shedding. South Africa is suffering electricity problems. My area is a Lord Shedding. Lord Shedding disturb us, pardon us, and it delay whatever we want to do. May God bless you. You are welcome. And the announcements are tomorrow as usual. You will be reading the book of Psalm 51. You don't confess since you will confess by re reading Psalm 51 while you read as if it was you asking God, not Papa David. So you will be reading it tomorrow when we are fasting. It's 6 to 6. You wake up and do a Thanksgiving prayer. Thank your Father, whatever I did upon in your life, upon your life and what is about to do. Thank him prior and say thank you because today I know everything is perfected in my health, my life, my businesses and my finances. So by doing that, you use faith. Faith. So after Thanksgiving prayer, you will go and read Psalm 51. After reading Psalm 51, you confess those sins as if it's you confessing the sins. You will be where David says, I confess, uh, wash me with a, uh, uh, wash my iniquities and blow every iniquities. Let me be whiter than the snow. Do not cast me away from your presence. You'll call as if it's your name and you put your names. So that Father God can hear you in heaven. The way he blessed and blessed David, he must also bless you. We are all children of God. Do not exercise, do not forget to exercise your faith. Put your faith in demand so that that faith will change and manifest and bring all the revelation and all what you are seeking in God's face and God's throne, what you are asking, he will answer you. Child of God, afterwards, after Thanksgiving prayer and the reading Psalm 51, you will wait for Mama Ruth to post a video, the video of, about the video about prayers of tomorrow. I must start to prepare the prayer points. God bless you for listening. God bless you for following Mama Ruth. People of grace, do not ever forget. If you check in that book of First Peter, First Peter, 
he is speaking about faith. And so let me say, suffering for being a Christian. Suffering for being a Christian, if you check on the book of 1 Peter 3. Yes. When you check in that uh, verse uh, uh, 12, yes, 12, it is about suffering for being a Christian. And then that uh, Apostle Paul is reminding us where the suffering started. You will be insulted and all. What you need there is to exercise faith. Keep faith. Let them call you names. Let them do whatever and say they are, I hate you and whatever. But you as a child of God, that suffering, because it produced perseverance. And then after perseverance, you know what good things will be coming from your papa. So we will persevere. I pray that your heart continue to persevere. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Persevere, child of God. Continue to persevere. Because you know at the end, all the righteous ones like you, who's listening, you will reap the rewards. If you go to the book of James again, James 5 from verse 15, uh, verse 13, James 5 verse 13, it also speaks again about the prayer of faith. It's all about faith in these uh, short verses. When we check from the book of Acts at the end, go to First Peter, First John, James, Hebrews, there it's a repetition of faith. Apostle Paul is reminding us that all the suffering and Peter, he's, they are reminding us the suffering that we went through. We must have faith because it didn't start with us. It started with who? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If you want to overcome darkness, and all these plans, which is sung or satanic, uh, evil demons, herbalist, whatever demons and darkness that you are fighting, principalities. It has to find us meditating day and night. That meditation by calling the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. My father, here I am, have mercy. My father, do not be away from me, blood of Jesus. Father, strengthen me, blood of Jesus. The whole time in your heart, make it as a song in your heart. That meditation, it will bring revelation. And remember to exercise faith in every challenges that you come across. Senior prophet Timothy Joshua, I quote, a break in faith is break in God. Meaning that you are breaking in faith, you, it means you are breaking in what? In your Papa God. So we cannot do that. Let's continue to believe that among the challenges that we are passing through, someone who is there is fighting for us. And the one that someone is fighting is more than the one that is fighting against us. But the one who's fighting for us is more than the one who's fighting what? Who's against us fighting us. Because Father God, and all the heavenly armies, the angels, the legions of angels, and the Holy Spirit are fighting for us. There are more those who are fighting for you and me. You will never fall down, child of God, cheer up. Mama Ruti speak out of experience. Due to my experience, sometimes I will feel that, yeah, we really pay children of God. How about about you? Because the attacks are too much. But because, children of God, we have our Papa, all of a sudden, I will see it has passed. What do you need? By during that time I'm oppressed, I rather lay down in my secret prayer, prayer place, and just lie down and call only his name nonstop. And afterwards, I'll be fine. Hmm? So what is needed and us is about a faith. Yes, it's so heavy. I know that you are crying. I know that challenges, especially the more we pray. Remember, the more we pray, all darkness, satanic kingdom, evil darkness, they are revived to oppose us. Because you, as an anointed child of God, when you pray, even if you say fire, 
nicely call fire in the body. Father, revive me, release your fire by calling the fire. The fire that is coming, if you can see it in the spiritual eyes, it's so much like, as if I don't know how to put it. So, you are a child of God, you just have faith. Keep having faith and say, I know you are fighting for me. Strengthen me. And Papa now will be excited and attracted by the way you have faith. Even when you pray and ask something, don't say, Ah, Father, give me this, give me this. You put it that, Father, I have a problem. Come and intervene. Because I call you, I know that already you have did a preparation to release and remove my problems. He want faith. In that book of James 5 from verse 13, is the same thing, prayer of faith. You thank Father before he even release. You even tell him thank you that because you have already released it. You had already released it. So, sons and daughters of the Most High, all the seeds of Papa Abraham, uh, Papa Isaac, and the Moses, all of you, you are blessed. You are blessed. Father God, by trusting you, you trust him, you follow him, you follow other prophets. We are all called by Jesus, Holy Spirit and God. It means you have faith. That's why you follow all our pastors, you follow Mama Ruth. May God bless you. Let's pray. Don't forget fasting. And if you cannot fast, you start asking Papa God today. Tell him, Father, give me strength to be able to fast tomorrow. I want to fast and cry. I want to tell you all my problems. Tomorrow you are having an appointment with your daddy. Prepare your, your prayers while you are still, you will be waiting for my video for prayers. Because after confessing all the sins, asking for forgiveness, as uh, David said in the book of Psalm 51, you will be starting to pray and meditate prior I put the video. You will already you will be already started to pray because you are on fasting. To tell your papa and put your all your Christ, tell him what you want. Speak with him. When Mama Ruti post the video, you'll already have the meeting started with you and your heavenly fathers. God bless you. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, put your hand in the chest. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit. We invite you, continue to take control. Here are your children, Papa. Tomorrow, Father, when we fast and pray. Father, perfect everything that is not perfect in their life. In every side, every area of their lives. Whether work, whether home, whether businesses, whether health, whether families that are sick. Oh, Holy One. Father, prepare them. Let your burning sulfur, the fire of the ghost, the light of heaven fall upon your children. Fall upon the, uh, them. Prepare them, Lord, not to hunger their stomach to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Father, reactivate where, Father, they were weak, whether spiritually and physically. Restore where it was weak. Father, destroy the blockages and bondages. We know that demons are there already, planning to destroy and to block them to fast tomorrow. Oh, Heavenly Father, let them be pulled down. Demons, go. You don't have power, go. Ancestral spirit, go. You wicked idol spirit, go. Evil spirit of lust, masturbation, pornography, everything that caused all darkness and blockages, bondages, go. Contrary spirit, you are going. Tomorrow you will never block these ones. They shall fast and pray. Their Father in heaven shall answer them. You shall never block them to read the word. You shall never block them to meditate. Father, arise and lay your hand upon them. Holy Spirit, we depend on you. And destroy every snare of the enemy. The enemy puts snares that whenever they move, it will enter the body and make them tired not to fast. Let them be broken while you wash and bath their legs and hands with the blood of Jesus. We evoke the power of the blood to restore their body, to soak their feet, to soak their hands. They shall overcome because of the blood. Father, let the light of God fill them. My Father, remove 
the heaviest challenges that are carrying that are heavy like a stone. My father, tomorrow you shall remove. You are starting tonight. We thank you because you already removed it. Because you have already arranged with the angels of heaven to uproot and break and disconnect all the wicked plans of the enemy. You have already, or you had already arranged the Lord Jesus with all the legends of angels to uproot and destroy challenges. Every challenge, every problem, that is a problem that are pulling them down and be feeling powerless. The stealing of dreams, blockages, wisdom that has been stolen, knowledge and understanding. Oh, Holy One, have mercy on your children. May your power and your light be upon them. You are fire from heaven to roast the blockages and the bondages. Holy one, we need you. Arise, line of tribe of Judah, and prepare them. Son of David, have mercy on them. Son of David, remember them. When you bless others, Lord, bless them, O oh Lord. Bless them, O oh Lord, and all their children and their families. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The name that is above every name. Father, we love you. We honor you. Amen and amen. Mercy. Bless them when they go and come in. Perfect before they go. Father, perfect before they go. Where they will be touching. Where they will be seated. Father, their offices, their houses. Perfect, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. No blockages, I declare. No feeding at night, I declare. No feeding initiation of idol food. No no feeding of demonic food. No, in Jesus' mighty name. No incubus. No succubus. You spiritual husband and wife. No. Your powers has been dismissed, disarmed by Father God. Because Jesus is the creator of heaven and earth. His long arm may continue to protect you and perfect you. Amen and amen. We'll see. I'll see you. You'll see me. We see each other tomorrow. God bless you. God bless you. And continue to have faith. Meditate. Call the blood. Blood flow. Blood lead me. Blood of Jesus perfect. Blood come and fill me. Blood in your heart. That is like a worship. And Father God will remember you. May you be blessed. Shalom and Emmanuel. Continue to serve our Lord. And God be with you. Amen and amen.